Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degre, and today we continue our entry level 2 megabase, where we in the last episode just got our advanced circuits up and running. In today's episode, we will start to work on our chemical science. That's going to unlock a ton of things down the production chain, as that actually is one of the things to give you logistic robots and such, so we can start to expand out a bit faster. If you're still enjoying watching this series, do remember to like the video. And if you're new to the channel, do remember to subscribe as well. Now that out of the way, let's get on with today's episode. So um, as we're looking at our chemical science pack, we already have our sulfur. We have our advanced circuits being produced on the main bus. Then we need to get the engine units. Um, what I normally do for chemical science packs is that I make engine units on site mean that we'll have a somewhat direct insertion and not adding them onto the main bus. Yeah, that's a bit of complexity, but it uh, it works out very, very nice in the long term. So uh, firstly, let's just go and plan out our, uh, our new setup. I'll just blob through the trees to make some room. There we are. And let's see what we need. If we just look at the chemical science, it has three inputs, two of them will come from the, the main bus. But the, the hardest thing to make is, is the engine units. So if we look here, to make what we normally go for is uh, one chemical science per second at crafting speed one. That means this makes two every 24 seconds. That means it makes one every 12. That means we'll need 12 um, assembly machines to make this one. It then requires two engines, or pretty much uh, requires two engines per 24 seconds. And if we look at the engine craft time, that is one engine per 10 seconds. That means one of these can supply a bit more than two. The ratio is actually 12 of these, that's needed for one per second, to 10 engine units. Then the engine units require one gear wheel and two pipes. That means it will need 10 iron gear wheels in 10 seconds and 20 pipes in 20 seconds. And if we look at the crafting speeds of things, this will give us 20 iron gear wheels in 10 seconds. That means we have twice as much as we need. And the pipes makes, what's it called? 20 as well in 10 seconds. That means the ratio will be, for this one, will be half an iron gear wheel assembly machine and one pipe. So to make it simple, we'll do this. We'll make one input for gear wheels, I'll do a second one for the pipes. So let's do something like maybe here. For example, here we'll have gears, that will be one. We'll have one pipe right, because we know that will supply what we need. Then we need these two to go on a bus or a way going up that way. And what I want to do is actually just do this. You can jump from here to here with the inputs. And then on the output side, we'll do the same thing with this at our green signs, making it go up this way with an output on this belt. Input and input. So that will grab all the iron we have coming in on this line. So let's just quickly grab an iron line, drag it all the way there, and see if we can not get some of this automated. Again, the power of the main bus is showing its worth. So right now, this will supply both of what we need for, uh, for the engines. And if you continue up, for example, here, if you look at the engine recipe, then we also need steel. So we'll do a second line with steel going this way to supply uh, the last part we need. So uh, that makes it very, very easy to do. So uh, let's try and go with this setup for now. It, it should work the way I want it to. You can jump to there to make it look a bit prettier. Getting the iron in. We need a few power poles 
to power all of this. Could in theory just place it here. And one somewhere out here in the no man's land. And that gives us the pipes and the gears. Then we need 10 of these. Since uh, 10 can supply 12 uh, chemical signs, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We could, in theory, do direct insertion. It has um, some advantages. And uh, it'll just mean there'll be a small amount buffered here. And it does make it a bit easier to do because you can skip some things in the middle. And in my first entry level to Mega Base series, I did it with tin. So um, it could be fun trying to do a direct insertion instead. Though I know the ratios won't be completely correct. And that is uh, the only negative thing about it. And we'll buffer a small amount of uh, resources. So um, let's try and keep with this and then I'll show you how to do a correct ratio one other than uh, the gears. Then we just need steel in to go for these. Let's go grab some steel from down the line. Luckily we have quite a lot being uh, produced as it is. I'll just go and grab just a few more uh, belts so we have enough. So let's grab you, get some more inserters, uh, a few long-handed as well. And do we have enough assembly machines? Yeah, it seems right. We got enough builds. Let's grab that one and that one. So uh, let's go down here and have a little look. Let's remember to get the steel with us. This way. To about here, having steel splitting in on that line. That means steel will be right here. I think that might be correct. Jumping from right here. And going in. So that is our current steel setup. I'll just remember to jump things across while well, remember. For the things going here from the back. Can it reach from here? Not quite, so we'll have to do that to that, and there to there. So that is all steel flowing in. There we go. Steel going in, having the two things we need. And now we just need to add that into these. So as we've done before, we'll take a long handed to grab from here. there and uh, now we have to figure out how to get it into the next part and we'll check that out in just a second I won't power it just yet so right there that is our 10 engines being made so one per second or a bit more than uh, one per second giving us uh, what we need for uh, our chemical science so chemical science requires three inputs We'll need to get uh, pretty much a mixed belt. We can do that of um, advanced circuits and sulfur. So if we do that down the middle here, right here, can go in. Then we have somehow to sort this as well. And this is where I am thinking about doing... Um, we could, in theory, do direct insertion. And just place down one more of these and it will actually be easier. Because otherwise we'll need to have two belts. One with engines and one with um, the mix builds. And also just do one with one uh, in between. And uh, let's try and do that. If you want to see the different uh, the other recipe, you can check out the first um, uh, series we did. Let's just go up here. Here. Let's get you to source it as well. Try and do that instead. Because then we can do direction insertion, which is a lot easier to manage, to be honest. Let's see, we'll need 
three, I think. So we'll have one belt with the mix going in. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you can jump straight across. I think this will work. Let's just test it on the bottom one here. But then we'll have the inputs as well. That'll pretty much just be one of you. That means you'll grab here and here. This will just go like that. Could in theory move it one to the left, but I'll also make it a bit cramped. And uh, do remember to save a bit of room for yourself when doing this. Because now that we have this, we can uh, get all in we need. And to save on belts, we can actually do this. So we'll jump from here to here instead. But then we can take that and paste it down this way giving us uh, the correct inputs for these. Let's, let's just get that hooked up. There we are. And the last of these down. So this will give us one chemical science per minute that will go out on this side. Go down this way, be added on to our main bus and go down to our chemical science facility over here where we already made room for it. So time to make a mix belt going in and hopefully this will, uh, will just work when we, when we hook it up. That is this, at least the plan. So we need to mix this one. No, not that. We need to mix this one together with this one. And as I said earlier, once in a while, it's a good idea just to uh, to mix things on the lines, as there is a bit of room here to do it. And you can just go to there, and go in. So let's mix sulfur and uh, advanced circuits on this line. We need to jump over our little line here. So what we want to do is this way. We'll have an input here, we'll have input here going the opposite way. Pretty much just doing that, getting on one side. And then we'll have red circuits on the right side. That also means we'll just have to jump a bit here to make sure things look correct. You can go straight ahead. To be honest, I want you to jump. And you'll jump as well, making room for our advanced circuits flowing in with the outputs over here still intact. So let's split you there. I'd like you to just jump this way and go up that way. There we are. That should be all we need. That'll give us seven and a half per second. This one, that's only 12, so it requires like, not even four per second. Or something like that, one every four seconds, I think, or something like that. So pretty much nothing. Now one and a half per second, something like that. So uh, this is more than enough to keep this running. So this should give us a nice output of blue signs that we can hook up to our area down below and uh, get things going. So let's try and power this. I kind of want to do it without this one hooked up just uh, for it to look good and oh, we can't do that so it doesn't matter and, and see if everything works as intended. We'll need one here. There, 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 there and here. We need to power these in here. Could in theory do it maybe right here, would be good. Yeah, somewhere on top of this blue seems to be the best place. There we are. And then the outputs on this side, on the top as well. Oh, and we ran out. And craft a few to get it going. There we are. So let's hope we hook this up correctly. We should have, so now the rest one will get direct inserted in. 
these should start to produce all the blue signs, giving us one out per second at crafting speed one. These are slowly filling up as well, so um, that is looking very, very good. So now we just need to hook this up with the rest of the things we have, and then we can start to uh, continue our production further down the chain. This could also be the time where we'll start to uh, upgrade our simpler machines to give us even faster science. I'll just show you how that works in just a second. So there we are. Let's get some underground. There they are. And that is fine. And power poles. Inventory full. Let's go and jump, drop off a lot of the junk we have. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? Oh, well, not much. We'll 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 figure it out. What we do with all of this, as we do have quite a bit. We can have that, and the rest is fine for now. So let's go and hook it up, and start our next science. Ooh, and let's go grab some grenades. We do have grenades in our mall, so we should have some being stored up, slowly producing. Not sure sure how many we have stored up at the moment. We have not that many. We'll increase the speed a bit on those. Oh, and our power is starting to lag as well. So um, after we hook up this little thing, we will go and hook up some more power. But that does uh, actually require us uh, crafting a few more of these. Oh. Let's just do that. Let's see, you can go to here, then we'll get you a nice line down below. Oh, that was completely misaligned. You start right here, it seems. Much better. Let's see, that's a lot of things we have to go through. To get down to probably the bottom line here to hook it in. So let's blow up a little line in. Let's hope this is about the correct area. Seems like it was pretty much lined up. And then we'll just drag you yeah, this way. Plus, you'll go directly in this way since we don't need you anywhere else. Through this dense forest. And voila. Then in the future, when we get to our production signs or our purple signs, we'll be able to hook that up to this line as well, making that go into our little uh, area over here. And now because we've made this as much early, as much as we have, we'll be able to just do this, dragging it down, getting it into every single one of our labs. And when we get the last two, we can get it here and then we can actually do space science on this side if you want to, to have um, all the throughput we need. Or mix them together if we don't use them. Um, the military one. So this is gonna drain our power quite heavily. So that means we'll have to, uh, like I just said, go and look at that. I'm just handcrafting a few since we haven't set up production yet in our mall, which uh, might be a good thing to do very, very soon. There we are, chemical science, and let's go and look at what we need to produce next. We need to go towards production science. It's always a good thing to do. So um, let's just get some of this out the way while the rest is going. That seems good. I want to get advanced oil processing as well, since that's going to be needed for lubricant, which goes down into engines which goes down into robots, which in turn goes down into um, construction robots, which enables us to, uh, to 
to get construction drones and expand our base out a bit quicker than we are at the moment, even though this is a somewhat decent speed. So let's take a quick trip over to our area and let's just make a car since we actually have the ability to do it. And watch out when I'm driving, it's not pretty. Let's go up this way and hook up some more power. And this has actually supplied us for quite a while, this little setup we have here. And as you can see, we do really need to go and set up some more uh, miners as well. Whilst they can't keep up as it is. So we'll do that. Here are some pipes for you. Burn the mining drills. There we are. And let's go and um, set up some more miners before we run into an issue of uh, not, no coal flowing in. That would actually be about the worst case. Ooh! Okay. <laughs> Almost hit that. Let's hook you up. Get some more flowing. There we are. Here is some power. And that gives us a bit more power going this way. And I cast kind of want to set this up. I think there be fine. That one there. So a lot more coal going. Let's set up a second line of these. And you can just copy paste it if you want to see how it lines up. So for example, right there is good. And one over here. Just for it to, uh, to be easy to map out. That is uh, the main reason why I'm doing this. For future progress. And we should in theory do a fall in balance on some of these. But uh, this will work just fine. And that means you can go this way. And then we have that hooked up. So hopefully that will supply us with enough uh, coal for a little while. It does seem like we're getting a lot more through now. And let's hope we don't uh, run out up here. Uh, right at the edge of what we can support. So uh, thank god we checked this out. So as you can see, our science is shocking along very very nicely, being produced. And uh, our inputs are still holding up somewhat. We do need to start checking out a few of them in the future. But for now at least it is, it is good enough. So the last thing I'll do in this episode is, uh, is upgrade our uh, science production. Pretty much increase the throughput by 50%. That is quite easy to do. It's as simple as just placing that down. Doing these. Since we go from uh, crafting speed 0.5 to 0.75, pretty much a 50% increase in science throughput. We need to go and do the same at our uh, blue science to make things uh, go. And what is going on up here? Why? Oh, you are working. You're just extremely slow. That makes sense. That's about to change. There we are. And there we go. So that was a 50% increase in science production. And uh, I think this is a pretty decent place to end. Uh, do comment what you think about this setup. About me adding uh, two extra runs on the end. Even though they're not uh, needed. But uh, making more compact and able to direct and search instead. That is pretty much the trade-off I, I decided to do. So... Um, Thank you so much for watching guys, uh, do remember to like this video if you think it deserves a like. And if you're new to the channel, do remember to subscribe as well. And with that, I've been Degray, and I'll see you next episode. Bye guys.